हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैन्यूअर एजुकेशन दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज ट्रिग्नोमैट्री फॉर एम सी ए महाराष्ट्र सी ई टी दिस वीडियो विल बी ऑल्सो हेल्पफुल फॉर अदर एम सी ए एग्जाम्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट फर्दर कॉन्सेप्ट इन ट्रिग्नोमैट्री विच अपियर इन योर एग्जाम्स एंड वी विल ऑल्सो सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन सो स्टिक टिल दिन एंड टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच अपियर इन योर एग्जाम्स एंड वॉट टाइप ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट यू आर गोइंग टू फेस ओके सो बिफोर before i start i would like you to know about our online classes has been resumed for maharashtra uh, for mca cet 2021 okay to inquire about the coaching online test exams online study material you can call on this number or also you can visit on this website okay for classroom programs you can call on this number for respect to branches to inquire about the various batches for the respect to branches okay so let's get started so has we discussed about the initial video okay if you have not seen our first video we can find the link of the video in the description below in that video i have explained you uh, how many questions will be appearing from this chapter uh, we have discussed about ratio and identity we have also solved some of the questions which appeared in the exam so in this video we will learn about trigonometric equations okay so as we have learned in the previous video all the trigonometric identities are periodic in function like sin graph of sin theta is like this okay so sin will start will repeat itself after 180 degree 180 degree it will again repeat itself similarly it goes with cos also cos will also repeat itself after 3 pi by 2 okay so this is this is how the whole function goes on okay so sin repeats itself cos repeats itself so they are periodic functions so we can find a standard equation and you can use the standard equation to find the value of cos or sin at different value you can find the value of sin at this point, function at this point at this point because the function is continuous you can make a general equation of sin for this part and you can implement that at different value like for theta 7 pi by 2 For uh, for 18 pi by 4, so you can uh, find the value of various uh, value of theta at various point using the general equation. Okay, so this type of questions often they have been asked. This type of questions related to general equations in your uh, exams. Okay, so how to solve? What are the tricks? What are the uh, what are the for shortcuts to solve this kind of questions? So you should learn learn that. Then then only you can attempt this kind of question. Okay. and solutions for one or more equations okay so there are type of questions wherein you, uh, they will uh, give you general equation in you have to find the number of one and more solutions for that equation okay so as we go further when we solve these type of questions you will understand more how the questions uh, are there how the, what type of questions are coming in your exam how you have to attempt them what concept you have to know okay next is inverse function so inverse function is simple like sin theta is x so theta will be sin inverse x okay so this is a inverse function okay so similarly like sin theta has a domain and range sin theta has a equation similarly inverse function will also have its domain range okay all that thing okay then there are sum and difference formula so sum and difference formula is also one of the important concept wherein the questions are frequently asked from this topic okay so sum and difference wherein sin a plus sin b okay so the formula is sin a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2 okay so how you can remember this formula there are different formulas for sin cos cot tan so how you can remember this formulas how you can apply this formulas to solve the questions very quickly what type of questions arises okay so we will dis uh, discuss more about this topic in for uh, in in this video also and in further videos also okay what are the important results which you are remember so uh, you can solve some frequently asked questions okay so this is uh, this is about trigonometric equations and inverse function okay so let's go to the question so first question is value of cos 20 degree plus cos 100 degree plus cos 140 degree okay so this is the type of question wherein you can see the two trigonometric identities are in some form okay 
so you uh, the equation is given and you have to find the value okay so here we will use the sum and difference formula so cos a plus cos b will be equal to 2 cos b plus a by 2 into cos b minus a by 2 okay so cos b plus a uh, so if we consider these two equations so cos 20 uh, cos 20 plus cos 100 will be twice of cos 20 plus 100 will be cos 120 120 will be cos 60 degree 120 is half will be, uh, 120 is half will be 60 degree right and cos b minus a so 100 minus 20 will be 80 80 is half will be 40 degree so it will be cos 40 degree right and it will be cos 140 degree so what is value of cos 60 degree ratio of cos 60 degree is half so this value will be half so this half and this two will get cancelled so cos 40 degree plus cos 140 degree now we will again apply this formula sum and difference so cos 40 and cos 140 degree so b plus a will be cos 180 degree so half cos 180 degree half will be cos 90 degree and cos 140 minus 100 will be cos 100 and cos 100 half, half will be 50 degree right so what is cos 90 degree cos 90 degree is zero so zero into anything is zero okay so value answer will be option e right you have any doubt if you are not understood if you think i have skipped some step you can mention that i didn't understand this step how this step came how how this solution came so you can write it in comment section and i will be very much happy to explain you okay so next question in next question it is given to us is tan a plus cot a is 4 what will be answer of uh, what will be the value of tan uh, a raised to 4 plus cot a raised to 4 okay so this type of questions also appear in your cont section where you have seen the question like uh, tan a plus cot a so cot is not cot a is nothing but reciprocal of tan so i can write cot as tan a so this is nothing but a question wherein x plus 1 by x is equal to 4 so they are asking me the value of x raised to 4 plus 1 by x raised to 4 will be hung. okay so the solution is simple we have a shortcut for this okay so x raised to 4 plus 1 by x raised to 4 is equal to x plus 1 by x the whole square minus 2 whole square minus 2 okay so how this solution came uh, uh, this we have we explain in cont section also we will explain in trigonometry when you uh, uh, attend the lecture we will explain you in the brief so there are number of shortcuts where in this uh, this type of frequently asked question so uh, it is very easy but it is very lengthy if i have to prove this uh, it will take time so uh, for as of now just remember that x raised to 4 plus 1 by x raised to 4 is this so when we substitute this value what will be x plus x raised to 4 will be 4 square minus 2 the whole square minus 2 so 4 square will be 16 16 minus 2 will be 14 the whole square minus 2 so 14 square will be 196 minus 2 will be 194 so the answer is 4 simple so in this way we attempt this kind of questions wherein you can So solve this kind of questions in 30 to 40 seconds very easily, and these are very easy marks which you can easily grab, and uh, this will help you to score good marks in your exam. Okay, so if you have any doubts regarding this video, regarding the concept, regarding any kind like uh, regarding books, mocks, any section exam, how I can uh, join the course and all things. so all the uh, things will be uh, uh, available in the description if you have any doubt you can mention in the comment section and uh, if you want to inquire about anything you can call on this number you can visit our website and uh, to inquire about our classroom sessions you can call on the respective branches and our pune branch is also coming soon so definitely uh, if you want to inquire about our pune branch you can call on this number okay so thank you and we will meet next time